Write the letter for the correct structure given the IUPAC name 1-ethyl-3-1-2-dimethylpropylcyclodecane. So in order for us to choose the right structure, we have to look at the very end of the name which represents the parent chain. And here it says cyclodecane. Cyclo means that I have a ring. Deca or dec decane, it means that I have 10 carbons. So that means that I must have a ring containing 10 carbons. Now, all of our molecules have rings, but let's see if they have 10 carbons. So if I go here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This ring consists of 10 carbon. This looks the same and this looks the same. So these are all fine. If I number here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. This ring consists of 9 carbons only, so this cannot be the answer choice. Next, I have 1 ethyl 3 something. So on carbon number 1, I have an ethyl group, and on carbon number 3, I have another group, 1, 2 dimethyl propane. So if I go 1, this is where my ethyl group, it would be one for all of them. And then if I go this way, on the third carbon, I have another group. So all of them on the third carbon have another group. All of them have an ethyl on carbon one. And on third carbon, they have another group. Now let's see which group is one to dimethyl propyl. What we do is again, we look at the end of the name. The end of the name here is is propyl. Prop means three carbons. So that means I must have three a three carbon chain coming off. So let's see if I have a three carbon chain. I'm going to go one, two, three. Here I have a three carbon chain. Let me highlight it. There it is. Now here I have one, two, three. Also a three carbon chain. Here I have one, two, three three, four. This is not a three carbon chain, so this cannot be the right answer. So we have a propyl, which is a three carbon chain, and it says one, two, dimethyl. I already numbered my propyl, my propyl chain, and we can see that this one has two substituents. On carbon number one, we have a methyl group, and on carbon number two, we have a methyl group. So this indeed would be one methyl, two methyl or 1, 2 dimethyl, and this chain is 3 carbons, so propyl. So this would be 1, 2 dimethyl propyl, and 3 identifies where the substituent is attached to. It's attached to carbon number 3 on the ring. Here, this is our chain, and we have two substituents, this one and this one. But they're both on carbon number one. So this cannot be one, two dimethyl propyl. This would be one, one dimethyl propyl because both methyl groups are on carbon number one. So choice A should be the right answer for this question. This is Maya Lochi from Transformation Tutoring, and I really hope that you found this video helpful.